Oh my. And then let's say you want a chair that matches that, but you want it to have a cushion. So um, you have to pick from the color swatches that they decide um, for you, I guess. And you might not find a color swatch that matches the table. So you'll have like a weirdly different colored chair from the table. And that's when custom content comes in, so you can make things match if you want. Like, if, if you want your house to look nice, you know? Because, <laughs> like, that's the problem is a lot of the stuff for the clothing, the hairstyles, and, like, the makeup, and the, um, just all of the customization aspects. They don't match, and there's not enough of them, or at least there wasn't when I played. For uh, four. Yeah, for four. Um, and I would kind of say that's a similar problem in Sims 3 just for, like, the makeup, the hairstyles, and the clothing, because it's very early 2000s, 90s-based fashion. Um, but the, the, the furniture isn't that bad because you can use the color wheel on it to make it any color you want. So a lot of, like, the ambiguous, like, simple-looking stuff... You could put a cool pattern on based on however you want, and you can download cool patterns from the internet and make it look really awesome. Like, even with just some of the base furniture. Which I wish The Sims 3 had. Because here's the- I mean, The Sims 4 had. Because here's the problem. When they introduce pets, there is a color wheel for pets. You can make a pet any color you want on their fur, but the color wheel doesn't exist on anything else. You can't do it on clothes. You can't do it on hair, you can't do it on furniture, nothing else. You can only do it on pet fur. So why, why did you add in a color wheel specifically for that? I'll go there in a minute. But then you say you can't add it in for other things because, oh, it would make the game run less well? Are you kidding me? Putting in different colors would make the game run less well? It is 2022. I feel like you could rip all of this from this video put footage of the Sims trailers and make a video about how mad you are about The Sims 4. I really like The Sims 4. That's my problem is it's like a really love-hate relationship with it. It reminds me of Rainbow High where like the dolls are simultaneously really high quality and really cheap. Mm-hmm. I didn't click anything. That's okay. I don't know why. I oh, uh-oh. I think that's just how it was. Uh-oh. She has big boobs. she in a wheelchair? I think so, yeah. Okay, way to pretend. Don't be mean. That's stolen She's transabled. Valor. That's stolen valor. She's got red eyes. Yeah. Unfortunately, this may be where we end our relationship with Sybil. Is she gonna die? Oh, I like her. I didn't want her to die. She wasn't in the game enough. Oh, now we have to kill her, really? That sucks. What's wrong with her? Well, you can save her, but that's not part of the canon ending. Oh. So I'm not doing it. So if you save her, you get the shit ending? No, you you get a good ending. It's just like, it's not the one I'm going for. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we could play this again some point and save her. Where'd she go? So even though we did everything else for the canon ending, this would, like, saving her would completely change it. Yeah, why does she sit on that? I don't know. That was kind of cool, though. So yeah, we just have to beat her. <laughs> My time to shine. So what's wrong with her? How could you save her if you wanted She's to? She's like possessed, essentially. You have to use this uh, vial of stuff, kind of like what you found with Kaufman. Like that florist stuff or whatever it was? No, not the florist stuff. Alright, this is not an easy fight because... She moves a lot. And she shoots at you. Uh, that uh, uh, Agasta Busta Busta Bista stuff that we found for Dr. Kaufman, the red vial. Oh, that one he was like, put that down? Yeah, you have to find another one at some point, I think. You, you use it on her. Mm -hmm. You use something like that on her. I don't remember. Look, here's the thing. And then she lives. I didn't look up how to... Why is she moving like that? That's because she's possessed. I didn't look up how to how to save her. Because we're not saving her. Because that doesn't work on the ending. Oh, well, you can do it. I mean, that's technically the good plus ending. Oh. But, like, we're not going for the good plus ending, because in canon, Sybil's dead. Oh, okay. Does that make sense? So in canon, she dies. Oh, 
yes. and you don't save her. You sure are asking me a lot of questions, but yes. In well, canon, just, she dies. I just think that's a shame. I didn't see a save point, so this is a bit of a problem. If you get shot, it basically wipes your health. I'm sorry. Get up, Harry. <laughs> it sounded oh. like you called him Perry. No, I said oh. Harry, and he just he just dies like wait, instantly. Wait, I just found a conspiracy theory. Harry Mason, Perry Mason. Yeah, big conspiracy theory. It's the same guy. It is the same guy. She looks terrifying. Yeah, she's skewy. It's because she's possessed. So what's unfortunate about this boss fight is that when she shoots you, you basically just die. I think it's a shame we have to kill her. So it's good to stay close range. Oh, I don't know, because she's still killing me here. Yeah, so... Well. Maybe I'll try and back up a little bit, but like when you fall, she just shoots you again, you know what I mean? Try using the shotgun. Doesn't that do a lot of damage? I did use the shotgun. Oh. So now she shot me. I'm out of shotgun bullets. Oh. To answer. Use a health drink. So she's going to shoot me again while I'm on the ground. Mm. But she usually does. Nope, she didn't this time. Oh, good. You used the horse as cover. You learned that from Cod. I did it on accident. That's what's kind of funny about that. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't even try and do that. I just kind of ended up in that position. I was going to see if I could hit her with this big thing. Oh, did you? What? Did you get her? I hit her. Nice. Oh, no. What's going to happen now? Uh-oh. Was she out of bullets? I guess. What? What? I feel like there's something with like an Oh, old... there she is. I thought I had to do something with one of those. Maybe after? I'm burning through a lot of health. Oh, she is choking you. Try shooting her so she can't choke you again. Because she's going to choke you again. Well, she's not really doing anything. That's good. Here, I'll give her an epileptic attack. Nice! That's very nice of you. Epic. I like how while she's choking me, I can be like, wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> okay, continue. Okay, continue. <laughs> That's like Fallout. How so? Because in the middle of a fight, you can be like, everybody pause, eat ten, like, rad roach meats, and do five stim packs and rad X, and then turn around and kill them. Oh, that's true. That's a good point. I didn't think you actually had a way that it was like Fallout. I thought you were just bullshitting. No, I was talking about how it's like Fallout. Oh, okay. Alright, so let's see if I can shoot her with this at close range. This is just kind of a bad fight. Yeah, it's kind of shitty. I feel like it would have been more interesting to save her. Yeah, there is a way to do it, but unfortunately we're... I feel like that canon ending should allow us to save her. I mean, we can save her, it's just that it's pretty implied that she dies. Mm -hmm. Or, or lives and then goes to, I guess, disappears. Oh, really? Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh. Ew. Man. What I'm gonna happened? look at SpaghettiOs the same way. Oh, I still like SpaghettiOs. Don't be mean to them. Yeah, she's gone. Uh oh. What in the hell? How could this have happened? Yeah. We could have saved her, but nah. That's rude. Let's save her next time. Next time we play? Yeah. Well, look who's here. Alessa! You better replace my Sybil. <laughs> How would she do that? Put on I a police uniform. Show. Hold it right there. 
I don't know who you are or what you're trying to do, and I don't care. Just one thing. Let Cheryl go. That's all I ask. Cheryl, give me back my daughter. We meet at last, Alessa. <gasps> Alia Gillespie? Where's Cheryl? Where is she? Alessa. This is the end of your little game. She be. You've been a ghastly little pest, haven't you, Alessa? I was careless. Thinking you couldn't escape from our spell. But Mommy didn't know how much you'd grown. That's why I couldn't catch you all by myself. But what a pity, yes? Now you're half indebted to this man for his help. Hey, what are you talking about? Alessa, my dear little girl, there is one thing left I need you to do for me. No! Get away from me! Bad girl. So that happened. Uh huh. That was a thing. Yeah. Oh, here we are. Oh, she's hot. Yeah. Oh. Less hot. Something going on with her, though. She is crazy. Harry. Lisa. What happened? Where's Alessa and Dahlia? Harry, listen. Something you said before has been bothering me. I just can't get it out of my head. What is it, Lisa? So I went to look in the basement. Even though I was scared as hell. Like you said, there were these creepy rooms. But nothing really unusual down there. But while I was down there, I got this weird feeling. Like I'd been there before. Like something happened there. But I can't quite remember somehow. What was it? Harry, help me. I'm so scared. I can't take this. It's only a temporary thing. You're in shock from when you were knocked out. Don't fret about it. You'll remember after a while. No. You don't understand. Wait! Where do you think you're going? He's such a kind, helpful dad figure. That sound from down there, it's coming from the basement. Well, we're 
we're now in the final area of the game. Really? Yeah. This is the end of the game? We're in the last area. Oh my. It, uh, it takes a little bit to beat. Oh, okay. But it is the final area, technically. The final arena. So, you want to be done for the day? 